day hill for renowned archaeologist Lara Croft. Tis a sad day, Winston. She will live on forever in our hearts. Surely, Winston. And for this is but a memorial service. There may yet be news from Von Croy in Egypt. Indeed. We can only hope and pray that she may yet return to us. But I fear Von Croy digging in the hopes of discovering her alive may only be met with black reality. Indeed. Indeed. To the study, gentlemen, where we may pontificate over the day's disheartening events. Indeed, my friend, even the heavens cry out. Ah, the Philosopher's Stone. One of Lara's early conquests, and one of her most challenging pursuits, if my memory serves me. And Rome still bears the scars of that little episode. Ah, she was never one for diplomacy, Lara. But she certainly knew how to paint the town red. A god darn, ain't she just a picture? Ah, the charming Mr. Larson. Has Pierre let you off the leash? Talking of which, where is our learned friend? Oh, he's around. You got the cash? I've got the cash, but I don't deal with the monkey. <laughs> well, now that ain't polite for a lady. Even if the monkey has the mercury stone? Lucky I'm in a generous mood. Ah, crawled out from under your rock, I see. No need for unpleasantries, Miss Croft. I'm afraid I must, once again, relieve you of your burden. Easy come, easy go.
rodents, I wouldn't wonder. Big rodents. What? Idiot! Idiot! What does the cowboy hope to achieve with this mindless firing? Ain't mindless? Ain't we trying to kill her anymore then? You were kicked in the head by a horse, we? So the brain doesn't work correctly? How'd you know about that? Never mind. Never mind. We wait until she collects the other pieces. In this fashion, we have the full price at no extra effort. You is one clever cookie, boss. Comparatively, yes. Come, let's get off this roof, and I will buy you a milkshake. Calm, calm, Lara. We're all friends here. 
Begging your pardon, ma'am, but if you'd like to put them pea shooters away. Now, the second stone, if you please, Miss Croft. Come get it. Mm. It's a little too late in the evening for these games. Larson, search her, if you please. Well, god darn it if I don't get all the best jobs. You want to try the back pockets? Larson! Oh. Enough! Oh. Enough! My patience is exhausted with this childish nonsense. The stone, Miss Croft. If you put this into that gate, Pierre, you're going to get a lot more than you bargained for. Trust me. I'll put it in, then. That would be one of the stupidest moves you've made. And that's saying something. I think you'll appreciate. Uh... A nice try as always, Miss Croft. Wait for it. Don't say I didn't warn you. What is it? What have we done? In your usual flamboyant style, you have set in motion the next gate phase. Next gate phase? If my memory serves me, the gate has realigned itself. And if it does not receive two stones in the next few moments... If I was you, I'd grab your Cro-Magnon cowboy over there and run as fast as your little legs can carry you. Au revoir, mon cher.
Come out, come out, wherever you are. Heck, this ain't bushing ain't what it used to be. Not when you're involved, no. Practice makes perfect, I'm reckoning. Whatever. We seem to be missing someone. If he's talking about Frenchie, he's kinda indisposed. And you thought you might just help yourself to his share of what's behind that gate? Unless, of course, this is just a social visit. Well, you know I was always pleased to see a little bell like you, Laura. Be more pleased to see that last stone, though, if you'll be wanting to hand it over. <laughs> that ain't supposed to happen.
situation, no? I've had worse. Indeed, indeed. Uh, this is a very deep pit, and in this such a historic venue, I feel sure there may be valuable artifacts lurking in its depths. I can't tempt you to jump down and look. Well, this is my point. I feel you may be better qualified to examine its secret, unless you perish the thought, expired in the fall, uh, perhaps if you lighten your load a little, it may lessen the impact. The stone you carry? Wondered when you get to that. Pull me up, and the stone's yours. 
And we all live happily ever after? I think not. <laughs> uh, give me your word that once you leave the pit, you will not lay a finger on me. You have my word. Stone? Now, now, Miss Croft, you gave me your word. Come now, Lara. Lara, you promised! Boom! <gasps> uh, could you find it in your heart to help me up? I appear to be sleeping! Pierre, you know nothing would please me more. We have an agreement. Agreement? Not to lay a finger on you, remember, silly? Anyway, busy girl, got to go. But I. Ah! Don't let me hold you up.
And so ended the first of many. I'm sure Miss Croft would be the first to apologize for her not entirely courteous behavior regarding some of the more delicate religious artifacts, Father Patrick. No need, my friend. All in a good cause. At least we knew they were in secure hands. And fortunately, the church was above sending a bulletproof envoy to retrieve them. Ah, but she recognized her place in the great scheme. Some things, as history has illustrated, best left to their slumber. I speak in riddles. I talk of the stricken wolf ship. Ah, the U-boat episode. Miss Croft would never enlighten me as to the details. For my own protection, she would often stress. Indeed, Winston. And for this, you should be grateful. Deep in the bowels of their vessels lay one of the most powerful artifacts in all Christendom. An artifact which, when wielded at the vanguard of an army, would make that army invincible. The Spear of Destiny. But the boat never reached the fatherland with its precious cargo. It disappeared from radar three weeks into the journey. Seamen, and also something much more sinister. The Zapadnaya Litsa port, once the pride of the Russian fleet. Ex KGB, the majority of them. Trained killers. Dealt with mafioso before. Unpleasant memories. Prefer to avoid them whenever possible. Yes, I would prefer this also. Hardly a major search party, is it? There's something you're not telling me. Ah, yes. I'm a big girl now. Hit me with the bad news. It is bad news. The Admiral's allegiance has been bought, and under his command, a nuclear submarine. It's housed in one of the dockyards. Well done. Nuclear submarine. Sounds nice. Perfect holiday. Lara, wait. Take this tracking device. What's this? You're not worried about me. Yes, somebody has to. Touching. But don't wait up.
move your men along, Yarofev. I do not pay such extortionate prices for incompetence. You forget me, Kelov. I am still an admiral of the Russian Navy, and as such, demand respect. While you accept my bribes for use of the submarine, you are under my employ, and will follow my instructions without complaint. If I deal with the like of you to keep my men in bread, it does not make me one of you. Ha <laughs> ha! Relax, my friend. We are two sides of the same coin. Mafioso filth. Rusev, hurry on with that box. Our new commander demands efficiency. Enough, enough! More than seal hatches! As you have promoted me to commander, is it not sitting to board before the Admiral?
economy class. Your little assignment? You have no idea what your Mafia financed assignment is, do you, Admiral? Young lady, who you are and what you know is of very little concern to me. If I was captain of my ship, I might listen to you. But unfortunately, the situation I find myself in doesn't allow me that privilege. So if you would be quiet and hurry along like a good little girl. Not for this spy we have located on board. 
A spy? I trust you have disposed of him. Not him, her. Yes, we are forced to run with the wolves, but we shall not kill indiscriminately like they. Fool! I shall dispose of her when I return. Move the sub to position quickly, comrade. Take her five degrees astern, quarter power, and bring her to a full stop. Attention all dive crews, report to your stations immediately. Ah! <laughs> 
Time to turn the tables. Hand it to me and I may spare you. 
On your head be it. Take her to the torpedo room and eject her into the ocean. <laughs> Sergei, listen to me. You don't know what you're dealing with. The internal seams are uh, 
Glimmering. Fought against the enemy from inside 
and sacrifice their lives for that their country may once again stand proud. You have my word. I salute you. Quickly, into the airlock, and I will release you. Bye, Admiral. saw enough of the power of this artifact to recognize its rightful place was where man could never again misuse it. And not enough for it to destroy her. Some powers are beyond the wit of man. Oh dear, gentlemen, I do apologize. It seems someone up above has a sense of humor. If you will excuse me a moment, I shall fetch candles. It is a night spurred by hell. And as the horsemen drove ever onwards across the world, the heavens boiled in their wake. Ah, benefits of a religious education. This night reminds me of the time out of Canusi. Winston's home? Indeed, yes. The staff had taken leave due to flooding. Lara, back when she was a slip of a girl, was staying with Winston and his wife. It was her that contacted me, as a matter of fact. Some trouble out on one of the islands. Weird lights, manifestations, that sort of thing. Thought I might be able to help. It was on a hellish night like this when I arrived. Evening, Winston. And how would I be able to help? So, people have seen these apparitions out on the island. There is talk of little else in the village, Bram. I'm doing all I can to keep this gossip from Lara. I, you would be a wise man. It would be unwise for her curiosity to draw her to that place. And you have some idea of what it could be? To be frank with you, no. But as the devil finds work for idle hands, I've spoken with Father Finnegan and have a boat chartered for the crossing late on this very evening. Good Lord, Bram. You have not chosen the evening for it. I have my faith to protect me, Winston. Be careful. I fear on that island it's what you cannot see that will hurt you, Bram. Time to get to the bottom of this, old friend.
stay where I am. <laughs> Fear not this visage. It is but a vessel for my troubled spirit. <laughs> Come closer, for you are safe while I am hung like so much butcher's meat. Who are you? Who? Mm, for it is more like what? Condemned to wander between the kingdoms of man and that of the elementals. <laughs> but I must be swift in my request. <laughs> for they watch and wait to once more draw me back into the darkness. Request? My heart, girl. They have hidden my petrified heart in the roots of this, the world tree, down under the watchful gaze of the dragon Nidhogg. <laughs> Find this, my child, and return it to its rightful resting place. <laughs> And you shall be rewarded. And why on earth should I trust you? Not on earth, girl. In between. <laughs> My soul is gone. And how it fares, nobody knows. And nobody cares. <laughs>
that doesn't burn at its touch. What was in the hole? In the... Never mind that. What on earth are you doing here? No, don't bother. We'll get onto that later. Right now, we need to get you out to somewhere safe until the morning. That's assuming you'll stay in one place, young lady. Nothing with demons, right? Well, I can't promise anything in this godforsaken place. I light the way and go on ahead to clear out any unwelcome guests. Now, once you're out, head to the chapel over the bridge. I'll meet you there. I'm forgetting me manners. Don't speak to strange things. And if there's anything around, and trusting the skills in this area, there shouldn't be. Iron girl, use iron to repel them. See you up top. Keep your wits about you.
Good Lord, girl, it's me. I've enough on my plate without you making me jump out of my skin and all. Your hair. What about me hair? It's white. Hmm. I that'll be right. I was detained by some unpleasant fellas from down below. Gave me quite a fright. That's why I wasn't at the chapel. But I can see you've kept yourself busy. Anyways, let's get you out of here and back to safety. Right, young lady. I'm going to have a quick look around now for a safe place to push you. Now you stay put, or you'll be banging into something that'll make your hair turn white. And we wouldn't be wanting that now, would we? Father, I found a book in the labyrinth. You've been sightseeing in there as well. Good Lord Almighty, girl. I have been needing to chain you to something. It has protective symbols. Maybe you could use them. Bless you for the thought, but I've enough protection from him above. And for that diagram to be any good, you'd have to draw it out and be sitting in the middle of it. And you know something? I've left all my colouring pens at home tonight. Now, you'll be doing me a big favour if you were to stay put before you bang into something bigger than you. Stay put. Right.
Before me, the first to visit me in my prison, seven hundred years past. Seven hundred years? All alone in a barn? Oh, those winter nights must have just flown by. Silence, ignorant heretic, or I behead you! Oh. Leave him be! <laughs> For the child has spirit. But what is that, when this island is littered with the bones of holy men? My gift to them for their spirit in obstructing me from claiming my rightful inheritance. And this inheritance I wouldn't want would be some way to explaining why you're walking and breathing when you should be gone long past. The inheritance is the gift of eternal life contained within an ancient scroll, concealed by the Dullard Abbot and his cohorts, a scroll which draws forth pale demon blood through my veins. I am no longer man. I am one foot in earth, and one foot above the gaping abyss of Hades. So why stay on the island? Came for a holiday and fell in love with the scenery. Hold your yapping oh. tongue, for want I clip it. Boils and blades plaster over this island and its treacherous inhabitants. For it was they and their pox an abbot who plotted to incarcerate me in this dungeon hall for an eternity. I, Vladimir Kalita, who worshipped in the first Kremlin, who butchered the Swedes under Nevsky on the banks of the river Neva, incarcerated within this prison. Flowing water. Running water? You're trapped here by running water? Demons cannot cross running water. Indeed, the abbot's final trick before I was and so you shall find a way to shore up this stream, for your holy man shall be opened up and gutted like live stock.
her job well, and I taste freedom for the first time in an aeon. You will not now fear me, for you have served your purpose well, holy man. And for this, should I exercise mercy as a god might? Now, that'd be nice, but I'm not holding me breath. Yes, I shall spare. And secure for you a fate worse than death. For when you pass beyond this world, heaven shall no longer welcome you. For you have released a demon. My faith will protect me from feckless lesser demons as yourself. I shall snuff out her life as a candle. The book from the library. done well, girl. And before you ask, I'll tell you. The book you've got, I myself was looking for it. But as I couldn't find it, assumed you had it. <laughs> and lucky you did. But how? If you name a demon, you have power over him. And you named him. <laughs> it's your shout, Lara. For this you shall burn for eternity! I shall drown you in a mire of your own entrails before I squeeze! Be quiet! What do you reckon we get out of this godforsaken place and go and get a nice cup of tea with Winston? Almost forgot. Would you be wanting to wave goodbye to our little friend? <laughs> Back to where you belong. And you'll have learnt a few valuable lessons from that, I'd be thinking. You'd be thinking right, Father. Her curiosity was eventually her failing. The path she chose was the path she loved. And for this, we should celebrate, not grieve. Although I fear for Von Croy, pursuing his inner demons, driven half to madness in his quest for her final resting place, he will not find peace in himself until this is complete. Ah, 
the infamous trophy room. And you will be doing the acrobatics to enter, Winston, yes? Miss Croft did enjoy her little games. And here it is, gentlemen. The artifact which led to the animosity between Miss Croft and Von Croyen, ending ultimately in this terrible business. Okay, Miss Croft, I'm presuming by the lack of communication that you're in position, facing the Von Croy Industries building, right? Containing our little prize, the Iris? Affirmative. Right. Now this is what you're good at, yeah? Time to switch roofs. Switch roofs? Easy to say from the ground floor, wouldn't you agree? Come on now, stiff up the lip, top hole and all that. Time to get hip with zip. Gone. Jimmy Hendrix is back! Laura! You there, Laura? Croft! Are you getting this? Slimy. Jeez, now that was a blast. What the hell happened? Never mind, Yankee. I'm going in. <laughs> I'm in. Okay, now let's see what you can do. Follow the vent to the main corridor. You come in at the 13th floor. Unlucky for some. Unlucky for them. Any welcome party? That's your job, girl. I ain't no X-ray vision superhero. I'd noticed the last bit. Ooh, you are so sharp you're gonna cut yourself. Just remember, the less attention, the better. You dig? Thanks. But that thought had crossed my mind. Just making sure you're on the ball, lady. Enough talk. Contact me if you see anything. Whew. That girl has got one bad attitude. You getting this? Whoa, baby, I'm getting too much of that. Looks like the Hulk on steroids. You want to tell me what it's doing here? Couldn't be sure. I hear that BCI is working on some new suit for the military. <laughs> and that sure as mom's apple pie ain't no civilian protection. Can't argue with that. And the guns? Well, my picture ain't all that clear, but it looks like low-frequency laser weapons, limited range. If you get in the way of one, then they'll have to take you out in a plastic sack. I get the picture.
job in there, and it's poop. Find me some way to turn this off. Don't get your knickers in a twist. I'm on the case. What I have to work with? Don't knock it, lady. I'm your eyes and ears. More of those and less of the lip would be preferable. Guard for company security. Keep it like a baby. Somebody could just glide in and slide that ID card out from under his nose.
some fancy moves to get past this quarterback. You got any suggestions? Anything to distract him? I got a suggestion right here. Go find a different way out, because you don't want to know what happens when you make the Hulk mad. Indispensable information as always. That face ain't got armor on it, right? Well, that's how you're going to have to do it. You want hard-boiled lady. Now, you think of something. What exactly am I hiring you for? My extraordinary knowledge of security systems and my unsurpassed skill in cracking them, not to mention my ineffably addictive personality, baby. You're right. I won't mention it. Now this ain't gonna be easy. This door operates on that pass you got, except it needs two inserted at the same time. Meaning what, exactly? Meaning, against your better judgment, try not to go killing that guy, cause we need him, yeah? Don't shoot.
sweet dreams. Okay, you've been a bad girl. And before I tell you what your punishment is, I just want to say that there's no point in arguing, because I ain't going to be listening. Now, take all your metal items, yes, guns is metal, and put them in the tray, now. So you're telling me to disarm myself in a building crawling with armed guards? Now, if I was listening, which I ain't, like I told you before, I would counteract this argument by alerting the person asking me this to the fact her guns ain't any use against ten-foot-tall walking tanks anyway. But I ain't listening, so I ain't saying nothing. I'm doing it, but if you mess this up... All right, I'm listening again. And trust me, I ain't gonna mess this up, okay? Do I have a choice? Nope. to be the bearer of bad tidings, but the stairs are out huh? unless you bulletproof. You ain't bulletproof, are you? What about the lifts? Well, the lifts is going down, and normally, when trying to escape somewhere, ain't it clever to head in the direction of the exit? Like the roof? Right. That'd be clever, like making me ditch my guns. Ouch. Yeah, maybe you better start looking for some weapons. Hey, don't sweat, girl. The man will save you. Hasn't happened yet.
On the ground floor, aren't I? Bing! Ground floor! Depart here for gun toting refrigerator men and long walk back upstairs. <laughs> Sorry, girl, you got it. But hell, you in one piece, ain't you? <coughs> Never felt better.
doing good, girl. But just you hold there a minute. I'm checking for something. Zip, they're coming through the door with welding torches. Yeah, yeah, just... Gotcha. Top corners of the room. Motion trackers. Fast movement triggers them. So take it easy. Well, what are you waiting for? Get yourself in a position where you can see the keypad. Cause once every three or four cycles, Mr. Mobile Refrigerator there is gonna type in the code. You don't say. You got it, baby. I is just full of vital information. You're full of something. Without me, lady, you'd be just some has-been hanging by your cuticles over a spike pit in some armpit backwater country. Sounds preferable. Sir, I have important news on the situation regarding the intruder. And? It, uh, it seems she's managed to evade my men and remove the iris. Sir! Incompetence? Where is this intruder now? Or have you mislaid her once more? Last visual contact in the lobby, sir! Last visual contact? So you have lost her again. Find her! Find her now! All exits are blocked. There is no need for these histrionics. Do we have identification yet? Only visual, sir! 
No need. I know who the intruder is. Lara Croft. Ah, your past once more comes back to haunt you. I've got a feeling this isn't quite what it seems. And I knew you were just a pretty face. Try infrared on the shades, girl.
Done good. Now get your bony ass out of there. And hey, you stay in touch, yeah? Maybe we're gonna be pen friends. Bony ass? I doubt it. But I'll be in touch. Clear the area, Yank. I'm coming out.
to absent friends. Indeed. May God rest her soul. Mr. Van Croy! Mr. Van Croy! Come quickly! What is it, man? What have you found? Pass it to me. Pass it to me. We've found her.